guys so we've just landed in iceland right and this is the airport it has one runway we've just gone to the car place that we've rented the car at and he's just like yeah the keys are in the car it's all ready for you so now we've got to go find the car in the car park <laughs> come in it is so snowy and christmassy here we're standing right in front of a massive christmas tree wow <laughs> can't believe we've made it to iceland sick country for the year but so slow? you guys will probably see this before you see all the other countries you've been to for the year because you want to get this out during winter <laughs> but yeah there's a sick country we've been to very excited i love the snow so this is the current situation there's a bunch of cars that i think they just leave on for people that have rented them out and they know they're landing so soon snowed in. <laughs> and they kind of just leave it to you you know go find your car this is the little car we got <laughs> it's, it's all right we'll do we'll do just make sure it's got no scratches because we've got to report it before we leave all right let's have a little look around the car the car is just covered in snow look, look how deep the snow is <laughs> Wow, let's get in where it's nice and warm and let's be heating up. Uh, Alright guys, we are in the car, ready to go. The first stop we're going to do whilst we're here, because as probably all of you know, Iceland is a super expensive country. We're going to head to um, a bonus, which is a supermarket, <laughs> go buy some groceries because we rented out an apartment. We'll be cooking, we're here over Christmas, so we're going to be making our own Christmas dinner. And yeah. How long are you here for? <clears throat> we are here for three nights, four days, and I'm just finding our apartment. We're actually staying, staying about a seven minute drive away from the airport. If you're wondering where we're staying, we're staying in a little, um, I guess it's a town called Akureyri, which is quite far away from everything else. It's like a seven hour drive from, I think, uh, Reykjavik. the second capital of Iceland. Yeah. So we're away from the erupting volcano at the moment, which it would have been cool to see, but maybe it's for the best. We're gonna head out now. Go get our groceries and then we'll check back in. All right, guys, we've made it to bonus. All right, and I'm gonna be doing some conversion for you guys to see how much things really cost in Iceland. Let's go. It is cold, minus five degrees right now. God damn. A little loaf of bread, bag of carrots, two pounds eighty seven. Okay, the other carrots went back because they found singular carrots. We'll find out the price of once we weigh it. Eggs, two pounds sixty-seven. Got a tin of beans for about sixty-two p. Broccoli, to be honest, I'm not even too sure how much it is. I think we're gonna weigh that as well. And the onion that we need to weigh it too. Waffles, two pounds twenty. Prices are ramping up. Ten pounds for two ready meals. About one pound fifty. One pound fourteen. Burgers with burgers. Eight pounds five. Also for about two pounds. Frankies. Is it sausage? Three pounds. Slandic water, about ninety p. This can of red pork. That kind of is Potatoes, which need to get weighed so we can figure out the price. Let's see how much this comes up to. Alright, our total bill is 10,437. Let's see how much that is in pounds. We've just finished shopping and that came up to 10,437 krona. And that is in pounds, 60 pounds and 41 pence. Alright, so we're in the town of Akariri and only 12 minutes away there is a natural hot springs and you can also whale watch from there uh, there has been many spottings of whales in this town well not in the actual town i've never seen it but <laughs> and we gotta get changed in the car because we can't check in to our apartment till 4 pm so on our way to the hot springs we've made a quick stop off at, at a whale watching spot very popular whale watching spot here in akureyri I'll show you guys where we are in just a second. Although it's like minus six, minus five, I think England feels a lot colder. Like there's no wind here, like everything's very still. It's so pretty. Man, that water looks menacing. <laughs> I can't even imagine how cold it is. But how cool does this look? Let me zoom in over there. Look at the ships. Looks awesome. Heading back to the car and then we're going to head to this free hot spring that is about a 12 minute drive from here, 10 12 minutes. A cool little thing about Akureyri as well is that all the traffic lights may turn red, it's actually a heart. Well, guys, it would appear we have got ourselves stuck in the snow. <laughs> Go on, Charles, try to get it out. Back it up, be careful. Just a little bit more power. 
It is going back just very slowly. We've made progress. Okay guys, so after some research, we figured out it definitely is down that first road that we got stuck down. We're gonna leave the car here because Look where we are, right, <laughs> where we are actually is a car park that's just snowed over. So you can't get in. So we're kind of parked at the entrance, some space next door. So if people do want to go in, they can go in, but our car is not made for this, <laughs> this snow. We're gonna get stuck if we go any further into this car park. So gonna get our swim trunks, gonna walk, maybe so like a couple minute walk up the road. And then I reckon it'll probably be about 10, 15 minute walk all around to get to the up, up the road and then down to the waterfall uh, where the hot spring is. We have one towel. We're always unprepared, but it <laughs> should make for a fun time. All right, guys, we started walking. Parked up over there. That's our car right there where my finger is. And we've got a walk down there. I don't think you can see it on this camera, but there's a sign um, just down the road. So we've got a walk there, so we got stuck and um, walk down to find the waterfall hot springs somewhere down there. You can see a big pile of steam coming up from there. What an experience. If I'm being 110% honest, I am glad that we did it. <laughs> I'm very, very glad that we did it. I'm actually really happy we've done that. I'm proud of myself because uh, I do not feel good with uh, <laughs> the cold. Oh, all is over. <laughs> uh, I'm freezing. No joke. I cannot feel my toes. I'm glad we did it. Will I do it again? Hell no. <laughs> we are going to another hot springs on Monday, but well, that one's a paid one. So to have an indoor place to change and get warm. All right, guys, we've just arrived at our accommodation. We're sitting at G19 Boutique Apartments. Parked our car right outside. Let's head in. I'll show you guys the grounds. Really nice. As soon as you go in, got some Christmas lights. And I'll show you guys to the apartment. We just stopped off right now. I went to H&M. Uh, Charles wants to get a new jacket. And now we are here. Everything is so close together in this town. It's so convenient driving around. Hey, hey. <laughs> so here we have our apartment. As soon as you walk in, you have a nice big bed. It's very warm in here because they kept the heating on for us, which I appreciate massively. <laughs> Straight through into the kitchen living room area we have a big big sofa which it looks like it, it looks like a sofa bed Might yeah be a sofa i think bed. it is yeah we've got a fridge we've got a cooker coffee machine yeah nice got a microwave what's through here i haven't actually been in here nice oh we have a nice big bathroom the lights not on right now i don't even know what the light switch is so this cost us 220 pounds for three nights which I would say is not too bad considering we are in Iceland, which is an expensive country, and <laughs> you find an ice in your pockets. In my pockets. <laughs> and also we booked this really last minute. We literally booked this, oh, on Monday? Yeah. And today's Saturday. <laughs> so I literally was just last minute decision, let's just go to Iceland. So not a bad price at all. But yeah, now I think we're gonna just get cozy, maybe make some food. We might potentially head out later on. Uh, to walk around the town but we'll see uh, we haven't we haven't slept at all we haven't slept in like over 24 hours now mm -hmm. so <laughs> we're real tired but we'll see what happens so we went and uh, chilled for a bit had something to eat had a tea relaxed and now we're back out it is what time is it it is 8 51 it's minus 11 degrees how are you feeling <laughs> i want to see some northern lights Let's go find this aurora. We've driven up to the ski range, which is what you can see 
behind me over there. Um, try to get away from like all the light pollution from the city and hopefully see the northern lights because online it said they might potentially be out today but fortunately we can't see something right now and we're not we're not very far away from all the light pollution so that's probably brought the odds down a bit but we have a nice nice view of the city. No but what I'm going to tell you about did you Google it back? Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, come on. I'm going to tell you about that city down there is the population is around 20,000 people, which isn't actually that much. Hmm. That's a fun fact. Good facts for Charles. Let's go on. Good morning, guys. We are just heading out. It has snowed heavily last night. So I want to show you guys what it looks like. This is right outside of our accommodation. <laughs> wow. You should see the whole street. It's covered. Let's have a look. It is insane. Yeah. I'll see you in just as literally as far as your eyes can see. It's just snow. I wish I lived out here during the winter. I mean, I don't nice. really like winter, but when it's like this. <laughs> so today we was actually meant to go to the canyons which is about a three hour drive away. But because obviously, as you can see, the weather and driving in this is going to be a bit crazy. We're not doing that. So we're going to head one hour away and we're visiting a few points on the Diamond Circle and Antonio will tell you what they are. And there's our car. We started it up maybe about half an hour ago. Left it running because it's super, super cold. So I don't want to touch the wind. Need to heat it up. Yeah, as you can see, just the whole town is snowed over. So just to show you guys how cold it is, we put this water in the car last night. Oh my god. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it is I frozen can't. solid. So yeah, as Chelsea was saying, we're going to visit a few places on the Diamond Circle, but because I cannot pronounce a single one of them, I'll put them up on the screen as we visit them. So we are on our way to our first stop, uh, Godafoss. But we just had to stop off quickly along this uh, along this road because I wanted to show you guys this. All of that, what you can see behind me, is all um, all the sea, which is completely frozen and snowed over. I actually believe that we're insane. We're absolutely mad because there's no one else driving on these roads. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be normal to drive and the roads would be okay and there would be no snow on the actual roads. <laughs> I yeah. imagine them being heated. <laughs> yeah. The only other cars we see on the roads are like big pickups and jeeps and <laughs> and then we're just there in our little in-betweeners car. I'm not sure if this is the sea or if this is like a big lake actually. Let's find out. I've got some signposts over here. This is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Here's what it currently looks like. <laughs> Absolutely completely frozen. Sun is finally starting to rise. It's around 12 o'clock, right? It's only like minus six out here. So not as cold as it was yesterday. Wow, wow, how epic is this? Just mountains and snow and more mountains and the frozen sea. We're gonna carry on, head to Godafoss, which is about a seven minute drive from here. So we'll see you guys there. We have made it to Godafoss. And honestly, like we got to the car park and it said close and I panicked because I was like, mm -hmm. there's no way I drove all the way down here in risky conditions for it to be closed. But it said 600 meters, go to the next car park and here we are. Well, we're gonna take a walk. I can see people walking all the way down there and I can already see the waterfall. It's actually <laughs> flowing. All right, we've switched to vlogging on the phone because it's snowing too much and the camera's getting super wet. But look at this behind me. <laughs> that is some blue water, man. It looks so epic. But yeah, we're walking to the main point where the uh, big waterfall is. Uh, I think it's only like a. I can actually see it again. So it's about a five, ten minute walk from where the car park is. So we are leaving Godafoss now to head to the next location. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. We have a map in the car of places to visit, so we're going to see what's on there and see depending, what we can do. Just depending on how far it is, because tomorrow we have got to come back home this week. Tomorrow we're spending Christmas, so we're special. So we got back in the car and decided we're going to head back to Akariri 
um, just because it's like almost two o'clock and tomorrow we're heading up to my van anyway so we'll be in that area to see the other viewpoints and, and waterfalls and everything else there but yeah in like, case you're wondering not heading back just because it's two o'clock because that's the because sunsets at about two o'clock and where we're driving there's no street lights and the roads are super high so it's always best to get back before the light then yeah and tomorrow we promise we will make a early start to the day Right, Antonio? Far from you. It's always late, guys. <laughs> early and we are heading to the area of like my van and we are going to what's the name of that place? Uh Heaven Air, I think that's how you say it. We are going to Heaven Air to see some boiling In 500 hot water. Meters, turn left. Yeah and there's the maps. So it's gonna take us about an hour and a half to get there and we'll be in that area so after we do what we need to do we can explore some more and I'll show you where we are going in my van. All right, guys, our journey's gonna take us a 10 minutes longer than planned. Reason being is because we are avoiding the toll charges. So yesterday we went through that very long tunnel and that cost us 20 pounds for a return. So we've decided to take the road around. Apparently it's meant to be much more like snowier and a bit dangerous, but we're gonna drive really, really slow and it's only a 10 minutes extra because we're trying to cut cost here, guys. All right, guys, I can see why everyone pays that 20 pound toll. Uh, we're paying the toll on the way back. There's no way we're coming back on these roads. There's no barriers on the hills and it's a straight drop into the ocean and we almost crashed. It's not even funny. <laughs> I want to laugh, but we're not out of the, the bad roads yet. Yeah, the whole road is like slowed over. It's just, uh, yeah, and not it's, ideal conditions, especially in this little part. You're in a big Jeep, you're probably right. And it's one way, one way. <sighs> My anxiety levels are just up here right now. What does that mean? I don't know. Guys, we've made it to my van natural bath i'm really excited to get in here because this is like the blue lagoons of the north <laughs> of iceland it was a long treacherous ride i'll tell you that <laughs> this is a very very different way of spending christmas this year the first one's in and we've got our tokens for the change rooms for our lockers and then girls are two boys are the other way around one. girls are one boys are two no Oh, <laughs> 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 I would have gone into the men's room. But yeah, let's get changed. All right, guys, um, the staff just told me it's best to start in the steam bath. And it is a natural steam bath. So it's not um, artificial heat. It's coming straight from the ground. It's right over here. In there. He just said start in the steam bath first. All right. We are outside, it is freezing. We're gonna start off in the steam bath, so the vents are gonna obviously instantly steam up. But oh, it's nice in here. Ah, oh, hold on, Tony, it's very hot. It's here. really hot here. Hi, guys, so we just got our drinks from the bar. Um, you can pay there, but I don't know if they expect you to bring your card into the pool. <laughs> but, anyways, that's just the where so we'll pay when we get out. But oh man, this is awesome. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas because we certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a douche. <laughs> Alright 
right guys well we have been here for almost three hours we need to make a move because we've got some other spots to see yeah oh. let's go we're gonna go head to Havne, which is the boiling pot it's only about a 15 minute drive from here mm -hmm. should be cool we can't get in those ones because i think we'll probably melt all right we're all changed and we are now leaving we're gonna head to Havne. pretty sure i'm not even saying it right but we're gonna that go to that place that was awesome Oh my god, look how many cars are here now. What we turned up this morning? It's just us. Bro, oh, I'm out of both. Oh. It's just us on one other car and it's super sick. Oh, I see. Alright, guys, we just arrived here. Over here? I thought it was happening. You said it wrong the whole time. Remember that. Here you go, guys. And the this is Chelsea reading the tracks off the board and trying to recite it to you. So these mud holes, mud pots actually, <laughs> are at a depth of a thousand meters. Do you know how deep that is? And deep the temperature. <laughs> and the temperature is above 200 degrees. Can you believe that? I thought it was like 140. 200 degrees Celsius, by the way, not Fahrenheit. <laughs> The smell is <laughs> dreadful. I mean, we were just in the um, hot springs around the corner and the smell there was not too bad, but here it's a bit unbearable. A bit stronger, isn't it? Yeah. So here we have the uh, 200 degrees Celsius, or above that, uh, mud pits. I've got a cool idea. Waiting for a snowball in there. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Go on. <laughs> yeah, your one didn't reach. Let me try. Instant. That was cool, man. Hey, man. If you ever want to make some ramen for free, over here. <laughs> I think you might die if you eat that one. Can't pick me up. Oh, it's really deep here. Oh, wow, your whole leg went into it. I can't get out. <laughs> Go over there. Alright, we're about to walk across the um, mud pools. Oh, doesn't smell too bad once you're on it actually. Right? It definitely has a smell to it. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. This is actually awesome, like, look how close you can get up to them. Yeah, that's some hot steam. I wouldn't put my hand in close with that. Gmo is a Gmo forever. Activities around here. <laughs> Spooky guys. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. This is awesome. And if you guys already know, volcano erupted last week in Iceland, and we are here yeah. today, so we're pretty lucky to be here. Lucky that it didn't ground all the uh, air traffic. So that was Javier. Have, have have <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen where it's for the news, but yeah, we are going to head back now to our apartment, get the Christmas roast on the go. Geez, my beard is like turning icy. It's so cold now. It's freezing. I don't think we're going to take any more spots. The sun is setting. We've got about an hour and a half drive back to Freeze Mountains. So let's go. We'll see you guys there. Well, guys, that is that. <laughs> It's the next day from the last time you saw us That's on the cool. video. Where was your last? Oh, hold on. I was driving back from my van. Oh, yeah. Um, and then tragedy struck. Yeah, as you can see, we are walking right now. We got our car. Um, That's because we had a pretty bad accident yesterday. Um, we made it through all that dangerous road to have an accident here near the town. Unfortunately, um, a guy on the other side of the road read his lights wrong. He thought that it was green for him to turn, but the green for him it was on his side was to go straight, not to turn. And he jumped his red light as we were coming straight, and we had a pretty much a head on collision. It was literally like two minutes away from our accommodation, and 
yeah, so the police came, they helped us get our car towed, um, they dropped us back, that's really nice, and now we've got to go and get a taxi to the airport, who knows how much that's going to cost us, um, I don't really know how to go about this whole insurance stuff, but it's all confusing, I'm sure I'll hopefully I can speak to someone at the airport because it is bank holiday, uh, boxing day, not sure if there's going to be anyone there. Oh well, yeah, that is the situation. The car is completely ruined, of course. But yeah. Flash on pictures. Yeah, I'll what? show you guys what happened. Um, that's it. That's the end of Iceland. We're gonna leave what? now. Get yeah, taxi. Iceland's been amazing. We've had a pretty good Christmas apart from last night. Yeah. And I hope you guys have too. Christmas would have been over by now. By the time you've seen this video. But yeah, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace. Peace.